how to keep that paddle in front of you and make sure you're making contact in front of you when it comes to volleying the ball, when it comes to taking out of the air. A lot of things that I see going wrong with a lot of people on the amateur side is they're allowing the ball to get behind them, they're catching balls out here, or they're not, they're bending their back too much and keeping those legs straight. So what we're gonna be working on today is analyzing what your opponent is doing and making sure you're keeping that paddle out in front of you. Hey everyone, Edward Perez here, back at it again with Cliff Pickleball. Today I got an exciting new thing that we're gonna be working on and showing you today. So let's get after it. So how I set myself up at the net is I'm here at the kitchen line, I got a slight knee bend. I'm never trying to stand up too straight and I'm also not trying to get way too low before my opponent hits the ball. I'm recognizing where I've just hit my shot, I'm watching what my opponent is doing. Now, when I'm set up, like I was saying, I have that nice slight knee bend. I have my paddle out in front of me. I don't have it here, I don't have it down, and I also don't have it way too far straight up. I'm usually around my belly area when I keep my paddle here. So if the ball is coming, all I'm doing, if it's coming to my forehand, I have my paddle here and I can just set up, get in front of me. Same thing on the backhand, I get in front of me. What I like to say is when it comes to the forehands, I think of my forehand as my sword, okay? My forehand I can be a little bit more attacking with. On my backhand, I think about it as my shield. So my backhand can protect a lot. If I'm keeping it in front, I'm able to block and I'm also able to really be able to attack if I need to. Same thing with my forehand. If it's in front of me, I can block, I can learn how to reset and go with that. Now, if the ball gets behind me, that's what I don't want to be happening. When you're taking fast balls and you're catching them behind, you start tending to have mishaps and miss shots. Balls are gonna start going too far in the air. Balls are gonna start going to that. It's the same thing on the backhand. When you start getting curled, balls are gonna start going up in the air and that's when you're gonna have a problem. So one drill that I love doing with my partners is I'm here at the kitchen, my partner's back. My partner is trying to drop and drive on depending on whatever ball I'm hitting and I'm again, I'm staying low and I'm trying to catch it out in front, all right? So I'm keeping my paddle in front of me at all times. I'm watching what they're doing. I'm never trying to catch that ball too far behind because then that ball gets low. You wanna to try to catch it in front because you don't want that ball to be coming behind. You don't want that ball to getting too low. Okay, also you can get some good power, some good energy behind it just in case. So, like I was saying before, you always are trying to catch it in front. Get that paddle here around this belly button area and push it forward, okay? It's never getting behind me because then I start getting too much like T-Rex arms and it starts kind of going too bad. I don't have as much control. If it's in front of me, I have all the control in the world and I can really push that ball in front to where I want it to go, okay? Alrighty, so the biggest thing that I want everyone to take in is remember, when you're at this kitchen, always keep that paddle in front of you. Never keep it down, don't be lazy. When you get lazy, you start to get hit. And don't have that paddle way too high up because if that ball's going low, all of a sudden now you have that knee jerk reaction to bring it low. Keep it in a nice equilibrium type of area, more like your belly area. So reminder, keep that paddle in front. When you have your paddle in front, your reactions are gonna improve heavily. You're gonna be able to get a lot more power on your shots and you're gonna start beating up your opponents. So thank you again for watching Cliff Pickleball. I hope this drill really helps you out and I hope this shot betters your game. Thank you again.